You want to build a portfolio of rental properties using a cash out refi system and you want to know what steps are involved in order to make sure you get all of your money back as quickly as possible, then stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. Today we are going to talk about what a cash out refi is and what steps are involved with this strategy. Another name for this is called delayed financing. Now before we get started, if you would like to stay connected with us, just click the subscribe button in the lower corner so that you do not miss any of our future videos that we put out. Okay, let's get started. A cash out refi is essentially a purchase and refinance strategy where you purchase the home using all cash. It can be cash from either personal cash or from a HELOC or even a line of credit. What you do is you pay all cash to close on the property and then you refinance with a takeout lender. This does look very similar to the Burr strategy, but with that strategy in most cases, the investor is getting a private loan for that purchase transaction. Not every cash out refi investor is looking to get all of their money back. Sometimes in order to get a really good deal, you have to purchase using it all cash and be able to close quickly. Cash buyers do have advantages over borrowing private money as they do not have to pay any loan origination fees or any monthly interest only payments to the private lender. There is also no deadline. There are five steps that I would like to go over so that if you decide to go this purchase route, you will know what you are doing. Now I want to thank my good friend Aaron Chapman, who is a mortgage lender with a company called Security National Mortgage Company. Now he is very he's a very experienced lender who does a lot of loans for investors doing conventional loans, Burr strategy, and even cash out refinances. I'm gonna put his contact information in the video description. Make sure to reach out to Aaron for all of your financing needs. <clears throat> okay, step number one. You need to get with a lender like Aaron so that you can understand their financing options. This could be different depending on the lender. Some lenders require up to six months of seasoning before you can even start the refinance process. And depending on the current market, that could be good or bad. Now, if you get with the right lender and follow their system, you could have no seasoning and start the refinance right away. If you do not put the repair amount on the HUD, you run the risk of not getting the repair money back as then the lender will only do a refinance of 75% of the ARV with the loan amount not to exceed your initial investment, your purchase price. So it is critical to put this on the HUD. Then they will take into consideration the cost into account when you do the refi which would all which would allow you to get most of that back because you have increased your initial investment at closing as long as you have the repair amount listed on the hud and that money is sent in at closing you can get that back during the refinance step number two before you close on the property make sure you, you have your takeout lender review the closing HUD because you want to make sure that when you start the refinance with them, there are no issues. Step number three. Great, now you close on the property using all cash and you get the renovations started. And that is if there are any renovations. Step number four. Provide the closing documents to your lender so they can start the refinance process. Step number five. The repairs get completed and the home is appraised by the lender and assuming the appraisal comes in where it is needed, you could get all or most of your money back. If the appraisal does come in a little lower, you might have to leave some of your money in the deal, but it still works out uh, far better as opposed to going the standard 20-25% down conventional purchase like most investors do. Now, this whole process could take only a few months if done correctly. If you have the ability to purchase property all cash, then this is a great way to potentially get better pricing and build a good sized portfolio of rental properties. I hope that this video has helped you to understand how a cash out refinance works and how you can do the same thing if you have your own cash, 
a HELOC, which stands for Home Equity Line of Credit, or a General Line of Credit. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button and leave us a comment. Let, let us know what you thought. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out our other YouTube videos on our page, and we'll see you guys in the next video.